Hello you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Danielle if you haven't met me already. So today I look very scary to start off this intro, but there's a reason behind it and that's because tonight I am going out with my friends and I have like lots of time on my hands to get ready for it. So I thought I would film for you guys a very pampery, luxurious get ready with me. Or I've been seeing on YouTube the like two hour transformations. Maybe we'll do that because this is going to take a while. We're going to get really pampered. We're doing like a Valentine's Day kind of thing so it's going to be fun. And I got this robe from Goodwill and I thought I would wear it to like set the mood, you know? But anyways, let's get this off my face. But first let me take a, I'm going to take a thumbnail so that way when we do the two hour transformation, you guys can see the before and the after. Cool. Cool, we like that. We like that. Now, first things first, let's get all my previous makeup off my face. We're gonna cleanse and exfoliate and it's gonna be great. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me into my bathroom. Okay, please do excuse the poor lighting in this bathroom. I would love to have that luxurious bathroom that you see all over YouTube when they do the like five minute makeup tutorials and stuff like that, but nope. Anyways, so we're just gonna get right into it. The first thing that I'm going to do, since I kind of already did take my makeup off a little bit in the shower, I'm just gonna go straight into face wash. It's fine. I don't really care. But anyways, I'm using the Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel. I filmed a whole skincare routine, so I'll leave that somewhere so that way you guys can see in depth what I do, but now you get to see it in action. Once that is finished, we're gonna go ahead and exfoliate. And I'm gonna use the daily microfoliant because I just tanned today for the first time. I used a bed, which I probably shouldn't have, but anyways, I don't know. I feel like I'm afraid it might have like done something, although I'm certain it's actually gonna help my skin. But regardless, we're gonna use the lighter exfoliant today. So that way I don't dry out my skin. Oh, that fell right in the trash. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> With this, it's rice-based powder. So you gotta activate it with water. So I just, I wet my hand a little bit and then I pour it into my palm and then wet my other hand and kind of rub it together and put it on my face. Oh yeah. <sighs> Okay, now once the exfoliating is done, I'm feeling good. I'm gonna go ahead in with my moisturizer. And the moisturizer I'm going to use today is, I think I'm gonna use the Dermalogica today. It's Dermalogica Skin Smoothing Cream. I'm just gonna put it all over. I actually like to moisturize anytime that I wash my face. And now we're gonna get into moisturizing the body. So let's move back in with better lighting. I'll see you guys in a second. All right guys, I'm back and I really, really need to get my eyebrows done, but that's later because I'm waiting till the last minute before we go to Mexico. But anyways, so what I'm using to moisturize my entire body is a sample that I got from Lush. It's actually like a sleepy time lotion, but whatever. It's like lavender scented. Yeah, I don't know. I've just been like ignoring myself lately and um, my like wants and needs, I guess. I don't know. That's so stupid. So I just thought, why not film this video, this Valentine's Day day theme like glow up transformation and just transform myself into the beautiful human being that I want to always be basically so how do you I don't even honestly know how to moisturize my entire body like I never do this my skin doesn't really need it anyways but all right I'm just moisturizing my thigh let's rub it in hey Kern. nice and scented I probably should do my toes too. I have not done that my pedicure since like March. 
so that's disgusting. I made an appointment to get my nails and my toes done. My nail girl's gonna hook me up. Uh, so I've kind of been just waiting, but then at the same time I look down at my toes right now and I just feel like they're a nasty mess. Like I have this theory that toes that are unpainted look like grandpa toes. I hate the look. I'm sorry. I know people like that natural look, but um, I don't want to look like a grandpa. <laughs> Alright, now I feel, I feel sticky, so probably, probably won't do that again. <laughs> Having a glow up means moisturizing your leg. So, anyways, that's done. Next up, I know normally people like to do their makeup first and then their hair, but I don't want to do that. I want to do my hair first and then my makeup. Okay, so for blow drying, there really isn't like too much that I like to put on. When my hair is clean in general, I really don't like to put too much on it because it just gets to be too much. My main thing is heat protecting. I want to make sure that my hair is completely protected from any type of heat. I don't put heat on my hair too often, but my hair is so fine. I really shouldn't put heat on it at all, honestly. So the first thing I'm going to start with is the Purology Serious Color Care Color Fanatic. It's a leave-in spray, but it also it has like tons of benefits, and one of them is a heat protectant and color fade, leave-in, detangles, all of that. So I'm just gonna spray it. Then that is done. So now I'm gonna go in with my Brazilian Blowout Acai Protective Thermal Straightening Balm. This is just another protectant and it also kind of helps to kind of start smoothing out my hair, which you'll see, it's really cool that it does that. It's like gel consistency. I hardly ever use this, honestly, it's probably expired, but whatever. Rub it in my hands and then I'm gonna flip over my hair. Hope you guys can see me, yeah. And then just kind of rub it in. And then the last thing, um, for the ends only, because I don't want to put it on this, like, my scalp gets so greasy as it is. I'm just going to take the Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum, um, and also it needs as heat protected, and do a tiny dot. I just put that on my ends since I'm trying to keep my hair long for Mexico. I have not had a haircut yet in a couple months, and I'm very much due for one, but I'm going to hold it off and then get it cut as soon as I get back home. Okay, so like I said, this is going to be a very brief overview. If you guys decide that you really want to see like a more in-depth video of how I blow dry my hair out, then let me know and I will film a whole video dedicated to that. Because um, I really don't think I've ever talked about it on this channel before. But basically, all I do is take my blow dryer, but I lost the nozzle to it, so... Um, you do want that because it helps to smooth down the hair cuticle. And then I also have a round brush which is very nasty and gross because I use it to do my sister's hair and she's got a ton of hair so yeah just ignore that. It doesn't bother me because it's just my sister but don't worry in the salon my brushes are a tad bit more cleaner than this so don't worry. You already saw what I did to prep my hair and oh, ah! <laughs> I'm going to take it in sections so I'll start with the underneath and I just clip up the rest. Just go ahead and start blow drying, which I'll show you guys. Hang on. I'll show you guys how I angle it. I'm better, sorry, hang on. I'm better at showing than describing, so it's better if you just watch. If you wanted to hairspray, now would be the time. If I were, I would go like this and spray it a little bit, but I'm not because it's freshly clean and I'm gonna try and go a couple days without washing this. Now we are moving on to makeup. Okay, so I think for the eyes, I wanna do more like sexy pink versus like curly pink. I don't know, I'm so back and forth. Since the last couple makeup videos that I have had are using all different types of pinks palettes, I didn't wanna use the same ones again, so I am gonna stick with the uh, Modern Renaissance and the Norvina together. I'm gonna kinda mix them and make it somewhat something like, kinda in the shades that you see in my hair, cause I see a little bit of like that, like blondish purple too, so 
I'm gonna mix something with this basically. And then as far as skin, we're gonna do Fenty. So I have the Fenty Beauty Primer, Fenty Beauty Foundation, Fenty Beauty Concealer. I'm gonna do very, I guess, airy looking kind of contour. I'll probably use the Fenty Beauty Contour Sticks and then go back through with the Marc Jacobs Bronzer, NYX Blush, and then I have the Anastasia Glow Kit that I will probably use too, something along those lines. That's the moves, you guys. So I'm gonna put this back. If I mess up my hair a little bit, I don't really care, so I will. Okay, and we're gonna start with priming our I'm gonna start in with the pinks and I'm gonna start with Venetian Red, my outer corner, and then go back in with Love Letter and start to kind of blend it in the crease. So. Next, we're going to start the cut crease and what I'm gonna do is just use the Born This Way um, sculpting concealer. Put a little bit right in the middle because I just want to do it right in the middle. I always like a lot of brightness in my middle of my eye. And then I'm gonna look up. Hopefully it works. It did work today. Yay. We're listening today. I'm gonna take my very dirty concealer brush and blend this guy out. Now that our beautiful cut crease is in, we look super crazy. I'm gonna go in with a couple different things. And I'm gonna start with the love letter. I'm gonna use the palm of my finger and kind of put it outer and blend in. Then I'm gonna go in with the Norvina palette, the Wild Child, like pinkish shade, and start bringing that into the inner part of my eye. Okay, so for the cleanup, I am still using the Fenty, but I think I want to use a little bit of this because I feel like the Fenty, I'm just too scared. I don't know, I just, I'm gonna start with this just to clean up because I know how it works. I haven't really played around with the Fenty that much. And then I'll go back over and use the Fenty. Proud of myself. Okay, now I'm gonna go back through with the concealer that I actually want to use for my under eyes and further blemishes and that's the Fenty. So I'm gonna use this. And now we're gonna finish up and we're gonna do contour, highlight, bronzing, all that fun stuff. Okay, so first up, we're gonna do a little bit of contouring. We're gonna use the shade Amber by the Fenty Beauty Stick. And I'm just gonna do here, 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 little here, little there, and a little right here. Then I'm gonna go over top of that with a little bit of the Benefit High Beam. I don't know if you're supposed to do all this, but whatever. Cause it's like mixing liquid and stick and also powder, but oh well. And now we're gonna move on to outfits. I still don't fully know what I'm gonna wear yet. So this is gonna be a hard part, but let's move on over to my closet. Okay, what's up you guys? It has been quite some time. This has been literally like a 10 hour transformation. Um, and I'm just now picking out my outfit. I did change because I was a little cold, but I also was eating dinner, talking with my family, such. But uh, yeah, now I'm just now getting ready to head out. It is 10 o'clock and I'm pretty sure I started this at like four. So I'm feeling like crap. I don't even feel like going anymore. I'm bloated, I'm PMSing, I'm just bleh. I feel gross, but took some medicine. Hopefully that will help. 
So basically I had this outfit planned. I was gonna show you. And it was gonna be this like soft top. What is this material? I forget what this material is. Felt, there we go, felt top. Um, and I was gonna wear a black cardigan over top. And then these black jeans, both of the top and this is from American Eagle. And then a cardigan I got from Goodwill that I was gonna wear. And then I was either gonna wear my Vans or my Doc Martens. Um, but truthfully, I feel like a fat lard. I know I'm not a fat lard, but I feel like a fat lard. So I don't really know if I feel like rocking this. So I'm thinking I'll just wear this jeans. Do I even want to wear the jeans? Maybe I should just wear leggings because I'm so, I feel so gross. Wait, you know what? Why don't I put it on and then see how I feel? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this on, see how I feel. If it's not a mood, then we'll find something different. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm about to make this really quick because my friends are literally already there waiting for me and it's about a 30 minute drive. So here's outfit number one. I might wear the docks with... I just don't even know if I'm feeling it. I don't know why. I just don't know. So then I was thinking about adding this flannel instead. Um, just a light flannel to go over top. But I still feel like it looks weird. I think it honestly is just my mood right now. But yeah, I'm not feeling that. So then I thought, I found this sweater. It's my sister's downstairs. She doesn't know I'm considering it, but I almost feel like I like this a little bit better. And then with the docks, you know what? I think that's a move. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, this is gonna have to be it because I gotta go, um, but I actually don't mind this. So I'm kind of glad I found this while I was downstairs and I am gonna switch to the docks. So that will be my entire outfit. Take a good look. So I'm gonna talk really fast because I do, I really do have to go. But um, that was a full on transformation glam. I hope that you guys enjoyed. It literally took me a total of four hours, but within a couple of those hours I was not filming. So anyways, um, you guys saw me from start to finish get ready for Valentine's Day and a little bit of my birthday celebration. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like this type of like get ready with me kind of style video, then give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Let's be friends. And with that being said, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.